Hello, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Um, my name is Andrew. I'm here with the NCSU Libraries um, and with specifically the Makerspace Division um, Department Department um, <laughs> of the Libraries. I'm here at, streaming at you live in Hill Library right now um, in our actual Makerspace. Um, today, what we are going to be doing is specifically we're going to be trying a type of digital embroidery um, that's double, uh, we're gonna be trying a new, we're gonna research and try out a new type of embroidery. Um, what was it? Which is a type of fill um, where it's going to be, how do I say this properly? Um, it's gonna be a type of fill that will be multicolored um, and it's going to be saturated in a way so that it's going to be evenly saturated. Uh, I don't know if that made sense. What was it? Um, but the reason that we're researching it is because, one, I've never done this. Um, so there's just an aspect of, you know, that's going to happen. Um, was it actually, let me pull up a picture. That's probably going to be easier for you. Let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. If I can remember it, open recent, open, let's see, it's probably in downloads actually. Yes, visuals are great, reference photos are great things to use. Where are they? Downloads, closed captions, test, blah, 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 huh. Okay, maybe they're in. Hmm, maybe documents. Ooh. Let's see. No, not there. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, no. We're gonna we're gonna just look this up. Uh, what was it? So this is part of Ink Stitch's. Um, ink. Was it? This is so. This is a part of Ink Stitch that has never been fully finished. Here we go. Some features. Color blending. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's see if I can change it in OBS so that it's a little bigger, so that everyone can see a little easier. Okay. So. What was it? So it's called color blending, and it's specifically for gradient. Thank you. That, okay, sorry. That was the um, word that I was looking for. Yes. Um, it's called gradient fill, um, and it's specific. Um, and the way that it's going to work is that what was it? If we, well, actually, it's right here. This, the people who made it probably have a better way of explaining it, than, or probably have a more a better art articulated way of explaining it than I do. Um, but basically, uh, n in normal fills, you have just like a full plain color, but with um, gradient blending, um, you can change it so that it's two full colors, um, but it's stitched in such a way so that it looks um, like it's, it's like seamlessly integrated. Thank you, okay. By the way, Abby, is our wonderful, wonderful NCSU Libraries mod. What was it? She's gonna be moderating for the stream tonight. Um, I'm going to, what was it? What was it? Um, and if you have any questions about, what was it? Um, if you have any small questions or big questions, what was it? Abby and I are both here uh, to talk about that kind of stuff. I probably should have talked about that. That's the point of the stream art. <laughs> yes, hello, say, everybody say hello to Abby, please. Um, and give her lots of praise, because she deserves all of it. Um, but. Was it she? She and I are both here to help you answer questions about the libraries in general, the makerspace, especially because um, we both have an intimate knowledge of the makerspace. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Um, NCSU in general was it most mostly the libraries? Mostly the libraries. Um, what was it? Uh, was it if you have questions about like what equipment are you, you're able to borrow or 
how to get your, yourself referred to like the proper department because we have a lot of departments at, at NCSU libraries who can ha help you with a lot of different things. Um, or if you want specific questions with like a project. Oh, uh, well, yeah, dude, you're awesome. Abby, you're rocking. Um, but yeah, was it if you have questions, that is our main point. Was it this embroidery stuff is here so that we have something to fill the time with and I'm not just sitting here and talking for um, two straight hours because I love y'all, but my voice cannot handle that. Cannot handle that. Ooh, okay, okay. So, let's get started. Um, what was it? So, but just heads up, just because um, I'm gonna be totally honest, I haven't gotten a lot of questions. Um, and I just wanna be really clear, if you have any questions at all about our us, the libraries, what we do here at the space, um, what was it? Um, or where you can get referred to for better resources in the in the libraries, because there's like, for example, if you have like a data visualization question, which is like coding question mark, but like real high up in like the hierarchy of coding, um, was it, there is actually a department here and we can actually refer you to that department's site and their like consultation forms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Um, so for example, if you, have a, if you have a question about that kind of sort, we can, was it, if it's real basic, we can try to answer it, but we are, was it, we are best capable, uh, we are best equipped to re refer you to someone who knows a lot more and is more of an expert in the field. <laughs> yeah. Um, was it such as Claire, who is um, helping run all of her Twitch stuff right now? Yes, yes. Um, what was it? Uh, and she's in the chat too, so. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, was it she's gonna be, was it she might be here in and out? I don't really know. Uh, but just, we're here for questions. That is our number one priority. The second priority is me doing stuff on stream because it gives me an excuse to do, it makes me, give, it gives me an excuse to do embroidery things um, and get paid for it. Um, which is a lot of fun. Okay, so anyways, we should get to the meat, we should get to, um, what was it? I'm, I'm, I'm really ready to get to the fun stuff. Um, so the way that this stream is gonna be structured, or at least the way that I want it to be structured, um, is we're gonna spend roughly like 30-ish minutes on research just because, I'm gonna be totally honest, <laughs> I don't actually know enough about this stuff to like just go ahead and do it. Um, that said, I am able to be like, what was it? Uh, so that's why we're doing 30 minutes, but I will promise you after the 30 minutes, we are, um, or at, at least by the end of the stream, we're going to do it. We're going to try something with the embroidery machine at least once. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get rock and rolling. Okay. So, oh, also, um, if you have... So we're working with InkStitch, which is a digital embroidery tool um, that digitizes your designs um, into, um, into paths um, the embroidery machine can follow um, for all of its stitching. Yes, the embroidery machine, yay. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest, when we um, try this out, I have a real good feeling there's gonna be chaos that ensues with the um, embroidery machine because uh, it thrives on chaos. Um, but yeah, InkStitch is also an extension of a free digital design application called Inkscape, which I personally use a lot. Embroidery chaos is the best chaos. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you there. Um, what was it? Um, what was it? So that's, so, uh, so just heads up, that might happen. Um, and we'll have some fun highlights. We'll have some fun highlights that we can um, uh, sa save save on Twitch for the rest of the internet to see. Um, but anyways, Inkscape is a free digital design application. It's really similar to an Adobe product called Adobe Illustrator, except Inkscape is open source and free, uh, which is mainly why I use it, because um, I don't know about y'all, but I don't have the money to be paying Adobe, like, 30 bucks a month. That's 
30 times 12. That's $360 a year. That's a lot of money. Whew. So anyways, um, that's why I use it a lot. It's also just as basic, it's as functional as Adobe Illustrator usually is. Um, what was it? And I don't really use it for like advanced stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. Also, Inkstitch is an extension for specifically Inkscape. Was it not any of the Adobe products, which is why I'm using Inkscape here. Um, was, it Inks, was it also Adobe embroidery extensions are also usually really expensive. Um, like, in which like, you know, you'll take a design and then you like digitize it so it'll turn, it, turn the design into paths the embroidery machine can follow. Those can be expensive to, to either, was it use slash buy. So was it having a free option is really nice, to be totally honest. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, was it, if you have more questions, I think I explained it more in the past couple streams. Some of them should be up, maybe. I don't really know. What was it? But if not, ask me. What was it? That's what I'm here for. We're gonna get started researching the rest of this. Or we're gonna get started researching this, the fun stuff. Okay. So apparently, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to do. Okay, so it doesn't work with 100% reliability. Cool. Hey! That's great! There's a digital design in the makerspace category for our videos now. That is awesome! Okay, so yes. Um, like Claire says, uh, what was it? There's a digital design in the makerspace category for our videos now on our Twitch, on our Twitch page. So if you want to go see what we did last week... Aww! What was it? That's so awesome! What was it? Uh, featuring me. Um, what was it? Somehow, what was it? Uh, what was it? We're gonna see how that works out. But uh, what was it? just like the idea of me? What was it being featured on the internet? That's that that that's a thing that I gotta get my mind around. Um, but anyways, you know, what was it? go check it out. It's great. I'm there. I will probably have videos of me embroidering, like actually using the embroidery machine last stream. And also the was it the digital design for that before uh, the digital design for that the last last stream um, yes <gasps> we have a series hey that's awesome what was it um, and we also have like some really awesome like more people on there like the other streamers um, what was it not specifically in the digital design section but maybe I don't really know um, I was just notified of this now uh, but. We, was it, we have some awesome streamers there. Check those people out, please, as well. Okay, what was it? I'm going to stop shamelessly plugging because I, I'm starting to start, sound a lot like a YouTuber. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to get to it. But yes, they are amazing. Please go check them out. Um, okay, it doesn't work with 100% reliability. That's why it's kept hidden. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my expectations for chaos, which were already, like, real, real high in the sense of, like, I expect a lot of chaos to happen, uh, or I expect it, and now I'm going to expect like that times two, because uh, uh, this is all open source code, so questionably, who knows, yes, what was it, oh yes, I've got to go check out some of the streams I haven't seen, yeah, what was it, um, I really want to go check out, what was it, Jackson's game design? videos, um, video, not videos, I'm sorry, streams, what was it, um, they're, to my understanding, they're really cool because he, like, codes in, um, Unreal, the Unreal Engine, I don't know why I did air quotes, I don't know why I did air, Unreal Engine, ooh, yes, that's true, that's true, that's true, what was it, I think I just saw, what was it, someone crocheting the other day on stream, um, on our on our on our channel which was really cool um what was it so that was really cool um let's see use the xml editor to add the hidden setting embroider and row spacing millimeter you get an effect like the one described in number 78. okay how hard would it be to implement the exponent algorithm using interpolate as a modifier for the stitch spacing for fill and send whoa Okay, that's a lot. 
I don't know what the word interpolate means. So we're going to look that up in the dictionary. <laughs> interpolate. Insert something of a different nature into something else. Okay, so... Uh, math... Oh, my roommate would know more. He's a math major, but... I want to see the ones about designing the Skeld. I'm a little obsessed with Among Us right now. Ooh, yes, definitely. What was it? Um, what was it? I actually moderated that stream. Um, was actually, I think Abby and I both have moderated a couple of the streams for the Among Us one. Um, because, was it? Megan's the one streaming that. And she, was it? She is specifically a VR, was it? She's an artist that does a lot of VR, uh, that does a lot of VR work. Um, and it looks really, really cool. What was it? Because she does a lot of stuff in Tilt Brush. Um, which is... Tilt Brush? I think that's Tilt Brush. I'm gonna double check it's Tilt Brush, because... Tilt Brush? Yeah, it's Tilt Brush. It's Tilt Brush. But yes. Um, but, uh... It's Tilt Brush, and it's... It's just a lot of fun to see her watching her, watching her do it. What was it? Yes. We... The library... We attract talented people. It's... We're great. We're all great. My coworkers are awesome. What was it? I'm looking up. I'm looking at the both of you in chat right now. Um, but yeah, we yeah we have, we have some really was it, we have a lot of really really cool people. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so in the mathematical field of numerical analysis, interpolation is a type of estimation, a method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of known data points. What? <laughs> okay. Um, it's guesswork to, to sum it up, question mark, a method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of known data points. Okay. Well, that's, uh, yeah, question mark. I love that there are two cats with sunglasses and most. Ooh, me too. Ooh, the one with, like, the very, like, uh, like the rounded sunglasses, I love that one. Um, it's just so cute. Makes me think like we're at the beach with cats. Ooh, yes. Maybe. Ooh, maybe that'll. Maybe that's what I'll be designing, <laughs> um, on stream. What was it? Um, a set of cat. Was it a cat? Um, was it a cat pad? A cat. A cat badge. Or patch. Maybe both. I don't know. We'll see. Interpolate. Coding question mark? Uh, linear programming language support. Okay, I'm gonna skip there. Flirp. You know what? I'm gonna. This seems out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna be totally honest. Because I know some coding, but like this feels. This is not stuff that I've done before. I haven't done a lot of math coding, to be specific. So. We're gonna <laughs> look at this real quick. Uh, that'll be a great way to quickly get out color buttons. The top row is a good translation of what some commercial programs do now. The old way, we'd have to break each section down and do it separately for the change of density in the levels. This version unlocks a hidden feature. Okay, cool. By the way, um, I'm on, was it the website that I'm on right now is called GitHub. Um, and for those who haven't, uh, those who don't know what it is, um, it's a coding website. It's, um, it's a place where people can upload their code, whether it's finished or not, um, so that other people can see it, make changes to it maybe, or modify it, or add, add their own stuff, you know, add their own little flair of code to the original code and then like push it um, and throw it into GitHub again so that everybody can see that. Um, so it's really good for group work coding, which is, um, and again, like I said, Inkspace is an open source um, program, which is um, which means that a lot of people from the internet get together just to code this for free. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Um, um, which is why we're on GitHub because you know at some point someone has to make the behind the scenes. You know, what was it? You don't have a musical, and then you know. Just six actors walk on stage. That's not how. That's not how things work. Um, 
But yeah. <sighs> Call back to my theater tech days. Um, but yes, um, that's why we're reading through this right now. This PR adds an inset option for fill underlay. Um, project release, I'm gonna guess is the shorthand for PR. What was it? The actual code that implements this in setting is very simple. However, to make that possible, I had to refactor a lot of the code. That's a good thing because it means that future changes will be a lot easier and the code base will be a lot more, will be more understandable for the fun time trying negative autofill underlay inset value. Oof. That's rough. That's, uh, okay, so basically, what they're saying is that they are able to do like two layers. So like, um, if we go to ink, was if, like if we go to Inkscape really quickly, let's see. Okay, I think everybody's able to see. What was it? Um, but whoa, this is giant. What the heck happened? Sorry, y'all. OBS is interesting today. Anyways, um, but what they mean is, so the way that this color blending works is you, where's the, here we go. Also, I'm going to change the, uh, what was it, document properties. I just, I don't like working in like a letter and like a, sorry, a portrait orientation just found that github page that Andrew was on oh thank you Abby uh, for the link um, I just really don't love the um, I would I much prefer working in landscape or landscape orientations for that kind of stuff or for this kind of stuff what was it question is is that even here <laughs> oh here we go landscape the okay hopefully defaulted Yeah, cool. Um, and I'm just zooming in. So what they were talking about with the underlay was that the way that uh, color blending works is you have like, say, this, right? And it's a, where is it? Where's document properties, or object properties? Here we go. Um, so what they were saying is you have a fill, like so. Um, and you would have a, or this is a linear gradient, radial gradient, linear gradient, yeah. You're going to have a radial, linear gradient like that. I'm also going to take off the stroke for that. And so what they're going to do is they're going to, um, and you can see it like, so that like at this end, it's, hmm, how do I say this? At this end, it's you know completely de like the amount of co uh, the color density is really strong here, and then the color density is really light over on the other side. Um, but but yes, what was it? Thank you so much. What was it for coming out to see it, Claire? What was it? I will see you next week. Um, or actually, not that's not true. I stream every other week, so the week after that. Um, let's see if I just copy paste this. Um, and then if I flip it, like so, what was it, except, actually, let's choose, like, more contrasting colors. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Fill, I... Where is object colors? There's node stuff. Where are object colors? <laughs> colors. I 
That's right. I. Hmm. This is real weird. I'll be totally honest. What is going on with this? Mm. Object properties, is that what I'm looking for? ID, SVG, no, that's not what I want. Let's see, group, no, paste, no, fill in stroke. Uh, maybe, no, but that's already there. Hmm. Properties. This is a good question for Google. Project color. Shift Control W question mark swatches. What? Nope. Okay. We're gonna go with reds, I think. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. That is so strange. I did not just see that. Oh well. We're gonna choose a nicer red and we're gonna make it gradient. Oh, maybe I have to change it to ah. Here we go. I have to change the f I have to change the color as a normal fill first, and then it'll auto set to a gradient. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, but make it like more like a color like my shirt, because that's what I'm in the mood for. Right? Hold on. Ooh, mm, that may be right. And then what we can do is we can do it like so, and then we'll be able to, what did I just do? Did I just delete it? Oh, no, 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 that's not what I did. I am, um... what was it? Let's just undo that. There we go. Fun mode, lighten, question mark? I don't know what that does. Overlay? Ah, that looks better. That looks like, I'm gonna be honest, that kind of looks like, um, oh, whatchamacallum, a, like a, like a snow cone, you know? Uh, my, my favorite flavors were always like strawberry lemon strawberry lemonade um, strawberry lemonade cheesecake and also um, what was it polar freeze what was it anybody who has ever been to a pelicans snowball um, snowball place which is like a, a what should I call them a uh, oh man why is it blinking on me now a, uh, a shaved ice place um, knows what I'm talking about Yes. Um, that's what we do on the stream. We make you hungry. Um, but anyways, so... Let's see... Okay. Because this one mode is overlaid. This one is... No clue. Saturation? What is that? What do what these do? Question mark. Hue. Color burn. Multiply. Darken. <laughs> yeah. Those ice pop things, like the long ones, I don't know what they're called. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, the ones that you would get on, like, the ice cream truck that would come by every, every like, Friday or Saturday. I know exactly what you're talking about. 
but like and your your lips would always like turn either really red or turn really and your tongue would be really blue yes i have no clue what they're called hmm let's see lightning question mark overlay let's see if we can light this up let's see how this looks this looks good Let's see. Abby, I think, just posted a... Yes! What was it? One of the ice pop thingies? What was it? Um, what are they called? I have absolutely no clue what they're called. Huh. I don't know. They were, like, the best thing to have on, like, a real hot summer day. Though I will say I was always real partial to, like, a creamsicle. That was my favorite thing. Rocket Pops. Yeah, this sounds about right. They look very, like, July, uh, 4th of July, um, uh, you know, rocket, rocket-esque. Um, anyways, back to the, back to the stream. <laughs> Oops. Um, what was it? See, I, the SpongeBob ones, when I was younger, they freaked me out because, like, all the eyes weren't in the right places, because, like, the machine that made them or whatever, they always placed the eyes, like, two inches below the other ones. <laughs> um what was it but like and it would like all their it would be like a Mr. Potato Head in the sense like all the facial um features would be like in the wrong place and that freaked me out <laughs> oh well so I will say I was always really in the mood for like ooh hold on I want an ice ice pop now um Man, I'm blanking. I'm blanking so hard on Ice Pops right now. Oh my god. I, um... Maybe that's what I'm making, actually, today. We're gonna make an Ice Pop. We're gonna make an Ice Pop design really quick. Um, I'm actually gonna use that one that Abby posted in the chat as reference. Let's see. Yes. Me neither. What was it? They're just, they're ice pops. That's all they are. Okay. So, they've got like this stick thing, right? Okay, I'm actually gonna zoom out and group this. That was not grouping. Okay. Yeah. Bam. Bam. No, that's not what I want. That's that's not what I want. Oh, huh, that's nice. I don't know. We're gonna keep it like that right now. Group it. What was it? Move it to the corner of the page. What was it? And we're gonna make a quick. We're gonna make a quick. Uh, right stick thing. Yeah. And then we're gonna make it brown. Just fee no wheel CMS. What? I uh how do I make brown? <laughs> that was not a sentence I should have uttered on stream. It's fine. We're fine. Um what was it? It looks like it has like yellow tones maybe and like no. Eh. That looks fine. What was it? Admittedly, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. A nice October slash November ice ice pop for the for that fall time mood. Yes. Was it ooh like a Halloween like a Halloween feature like type one? Needs a joke in the ice pop handle. <laughs> yes. Um uh, I really wish um I really wish Balka was in the chat right now. Was it? She's one of our coworkers. She always was it, and she is always reliable for a good, a good bad dad joke. Oof. Mmm. What was it? We're gonna look up bad dad jokes. Bad dad jokes. What was it? Hold on. Just so that everybody can see. Let's see. 
What's on a ghost nose? Boogers. Yes, that's great. Okay, we're done. We're done. I don't need. To, I don't even need to look at that. I don't even need to look at the website of bad dad jokes that I looked up. That's it. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, what's in a ghost nose? I'm gonna make it bigger so that nose boogers. Okay, there we go, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to shrink the font size to like, well, that's not what I want to do, don't want to save it, to like 12, nah, we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll mess with the font size later, that's better. Okay, and then we're going to, yep, and maybe we are going to make it 12. Smaller, maybe? Nine? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we just need to zoom in a little bit more. What did I make? I have no idea how I, how I made that. I'm going to be totally honest. Let's see. Okay, so zoom. Okay, and then we're going to shrink this so that this matches that. Um, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to group this together so that whenever I move this, I don't have to move the other one. Or when I move this, I don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to make a... small circle at the end. So, and I'm going to move it down, and then I'm going to control, control, whoops, control shift, control shift, nope. There we go. And then we're going to mix them together, which is, where are they? Where are the tools for that? Snap centers. Uh, snap to path, no, object. Mm. Object, um, clip, no. Objects to guides, no. Transform, maybe? Hmm. Scale, rotate. Can I just... Objects. Oh, that's just going to show all the objects. Huh. Not what I need. Uh, let's see. What do I want this? I want this to be... Huh, you know what I was just thinking? It's a little weird, but my tools are all on the wrong space. Or are all on the wrong side. Hmm. Nah, I'll worry about it later. Ooh, okay. Nah. We're gonna go into nodes, because why not? Huh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look this up real quick. How to merge objects in Inkscape. Union, here we go.
Oh, hold on. There's an outline mode? That will be so useful. Give me a sec. Display mode. Outline. Yeah, okay. That's real nice. So the reason that I did that is because um, we're all, like, the, the big thing that we're doing right now is working in outlines. Like, that's what stitches are, right? And then we're going to go in and fill them in later, but right now, that's not what we're doing. Um, let's see. I don't know how to merge these two. Hmm. Question, questions, questions. Yes. Path union. Maybe I can just path them. Path union? No, that didn't do it. There we go. Cool. Cool. Uh, object. Clip, maybe? Set. Also, I'm going to delete the objects because I don't need that right now. Uh, we're going to go just back just so that I can worry, worry about the colors right now. To display mode, normal. Oh, that is exactly not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Okay, so object clip release. No. Maybe I have to set this. Object, clip, set. Object, clip, release, maybe. Ooh. Object, clip, set inverse? No, I wouldn't want it. Object, clip, set? No, absolutely not what I wanted. Woo! Okay, we're moving this. Um, let's see. Maybe it's the fact that it's merged. Let's see if I control shift to do this. Uh, first of all, let's ungroup. No! Wrong thing, but good idea. Um, let's see. Uh, group control shift G. Okay, so they are theoretically different things now. There we go. We'll worry about the text later. Bum -ba -da -dum -bum 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 -bum. Where did it go? Oh, hello. I went off the left side. Um, and then clip this together. it so are they still okay no K 
cut? No. Oh, I just eyeballed that. What was it? That said, um, I'm just gonna start off from scratch. What was it? This was not, if I had eyeballed this, I would not have done so well with matching the dimensions. Um, it's mostly a, you know what, yeah, why don't we just make it bigger and we'll do it, we'll, we can scale it down later. Um, what was it? But Inkscape has um, a set of things meant to, what was it, the way that you make stuff in it means that, or sorry, whenever you draw new objects using its thing, or using its tools, it'll automatically just snap to certain dimensions of other objects sometimes, which is really nice. Okay. That's fine too, okay. Cool, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a circle. Okay, we're gonna shrink this. No, actually we're gonna. So I will say something that you do have to worry about sometimes is you have to, it doesn't auto, that is not what I wanted. No, come back, there we go. Um, it doesn't auto lock dimensions. So it doesn't keep the aspect rate, or it doesn't keep the ratio of the object the same. So uh, you just have to be careful whenever you change the dimensions. Um, but you can always lock it just by doing that, clicking that button. Um, and so now whenever I, yeah, now whenever I change one dimension, it'll change both. Um, so it'll keep the same ratio. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Actually, hold on, what is the width for this? 23.246. I, I probably should have done that from the start. Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay. Done, and then I need to set mask. No, that's not what I wanted. Set mask. Did it. Set mask. No, that is not what I want. Set clip. Again, not what I want to do. Ah! <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah, you know what? We'll worry about it later. Um, I'm just going to group this for now. Look at the reference photo again. Okay, so it is blue, white, red. So actually, what we can do is if we just rotate this, bam! Instant pop. And we can actually go ahead and do it like so, and we can tell it to I was looking at this right, we can tell the midpoints to snap together. Yay, that's good. That looks about right. What was it? Probably want to make this a little s smaller in size. So we're gonna make the width like 75, maybe? That looks about, that looks better. Go. Okay. 
and then we're going to round the edges. It's interesting that it's naturally called them popsicle sticks, but I never call the ice pops popsicles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're like ice popsicles, but also like they're that feels like too much. I don't know. I what was it? I mean, because like you also call them like you like eat lollipops, and you when like the stick that's left behind is like a popsicle stick, as well. But like. If it's like the um like the dum dums, you know, the what was it the pops or the lollipop brand? They're like circular and they're like sometimes like tubular, but they're still called popsicle sticks, uh, which is like so weird to me. Um, hold on, let's see if we can curve this. That is not what I want. No. Actually, why don't I just make... What's it? So, what's the ratio for this? 75, 137.442. Unlock this. 137.42, like so. And then we're going to change the fill. No, nope, not what we wanted. To this, except. Actually, what we need to do is we need to swap these two. So. 422, 75, right, because we rotated these. Um, whoops, wrong direction. There we go. Like so. Hi. Hi. Ooh, hello, everyone. Oh, I'm so happy to see everybody. Okay, what was it? Sorry, I'm just really excited because, like, we don't usually get a lot of new people talking in the chat. What was it? Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> um, so what do you call these popsicle thingies? I, I'm gonna be totally honest, I have no clue. What was it? I, what was it? I never really had them, what was it? Except, like, on, like, field days in elementary school. Um, what are you, sorry, what am I designing? Ooh, okay, I'm making an embroidery patch. That is one of those. Um, we just set the name of this. Hold on, let me scroll through the chat again. Um, rocket pops. What was it? I am designing a rocket pop from way back when. Uh, you know, you had them in summer. I mean, I still have them <laughs> uh, now, but I'm making it. I'm, I'm, de I'm designing them in embroidery right now, and we're testing out the double fill option currently. Um, what was it? So. Was it because or the color blending option for the gradient fills? So actually, if we turn down the opacity, will that? No, because I like this level of like I like this uh, the gradation thing happening right now. I just want it to be. La I wanted to start at a, at a at a at a more initial point, like the color density to be like way less from the way earlier. What machine software do you use? Sorry. I'm new to the channel. Yeah, no, no, no worries. No, absolutely no worries. Yeah, yeah, um, So we are using Inkscape right now to design it. Um, and we are using Ink Stitch for the uh, path digitiz digitization. That's a word I can say. Um, and, and like Abby says, who's our moderator right now, um, we use a Brother embroidery machine, um, the Brother P800 specifically. Um, which is the one that we have in this in the space here today. Um, I just want to get the design done first. Let's see. Um, what was it? But yeah, 
was it? It's good. Was it? It's good to see you. Alrighty. Um. Was it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, 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 bum. Was it? And I was. Was it? What I was just talking about was like we have this whole like ice pop thing going on right now, but I really want it to be like a little bit less. I wanted to like there to be like a like I guess a stronger color or a more gradual color or a less gradual color gradient. We use a brother inverted machine and ink stitch for the softwares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um what was it and the link that Abby just posted is the one about is the one there. Why we end up ended up with an ice pop design in the middle slash end of October. I don't know. Look, okay. Um, the reason for that, I'm going to chalk it up to, it is like 70 degrees in October when it should normally be like 40, 50 degrees at most when we're in like the Piedmont region of North Carolina in Raleigh. Global warming. It's real. It's real, folks. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I don't mean to get off track. Uh... Hold on, let me actually ungroup this. Because these are two technically different. That's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. What's it? Maybe it'll make maybe it'll be better if I can just make a blank square. Or like a a uh, a white rec a white to blend this with. So nope. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to snap this handle to this handle, I think. And then we're going to make this color, I guess, like straight white. Yeah. And then we're going to like shorten this real to, to be real skinny. I'm also totally to blame because I said that the gradient looks like that ice pop. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we're, we're an all in, all out kind of kind of deal here at the makerspace. You know? There what was it. All for one one for all. Um what was it? If I'm gonna quote uh the three musketeers. What was it? Except why can I not move this? Oh, it's because I don't have anything to move. Because it doesn't have a fill or a stroke. Right. So maybe I should do that first. Yeah. Corner to corner. Here we go. Okay. And then I should uh Whoops. Probably just change this to like a very light white question mark. What is white again? Is it I think it's just like everything needs to be at full? Yeah, like that. And now when I click on it. Yes, here we go, here we go. And then if we group that. That's not what I wanted to do. What's if we snap corner? Corner. Here we go. Bum -ba. And then we snap the corners like that. Actually, hold on. The width of this is 75. This one is 75 as well. Okay, good. Okay. Snap, snap. And then group like so. Here we go. We have our ice pop now. What was it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, here we are. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna look in the nodes. Actually, is there a way to? This is the problem. Yay! Go. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Now I just need to merge them, which has been my main problem. What was it? Because okay, the reason I feel so helpless like this is because usually whenever I'm able to like. Whenever I'm in Illustrator, I just I I go to the help some I go to the help section and I'm just like type in whatever tool I need because I don't know where it is, um, and as a result, I've been left helpless for Inkscape, which does not have that easy search bar function. That is the one thing that I miss with Illustrator, to be perfectly honest. Um, filters, no, that's not what I need. Path, object to path, maybe that'll be better. Um. Union question mark? Uh, 
Oh, right, they're all currently separated. Control shift. Is it shift shift control shift G? Yeah. And if we object union that for path, maybe object. Up. Maybe I need to make these all paths first. Path object to path, right? Look at them. Oh, hey, there's exactly. Yeah. That is a nice lifesaver tip. Yes, yes, it really is. Um, what was it? Let's see, what happens if I... Actually, first of all, can I make this, this one a curve? No? Curve it. What happens if I delete this? Ooh, not what I want to do. Absolutely not what I want to do. Okay, can I make it a curve? I guess I cannot. That's rough. Um, See. Also, this is not technically 75, so I'm going to change that to 75 so that it'll be perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then maybe actually what I need to do is I union them. Wait, did I delete it? Okay, we're going to zoom out for a second. Right, and then 75. Nope, not 75. Control Z, my best friend. Yes, I feel that. That's, you get me. You get me. It's a hot moment. Uh, okay, we're gonna see if we can, first of all, object path it. Object, um, where is it? No, path, here we go, object to path. Here we go. Path, stroke to path, maybe? Nah. We're gonna union it question mark. Oh, here's where I was looking for. Okay, here we go. Cool. And now if we delete this and we delete this. Coolio, that's great. Here we go. Okay, yes, so true. Absolutely, I feel that. Ugh, my back. Ooh. I need to remember to like sit properly. When I'm, when I'm streaming like this. Whew. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, since I finally figured this out because it's all about paths, apparently, which I probably should have figured out. Um, I'm also going to object to path this. And now this should have paths as well. And if I control shift with this, path, union, what? What happened? Pathing? Question mark? Path, object to path. Union? No, that's not what I want. Path, just that they have paths, and then combine maybe. <sighs> we were having such a nice moment earlier. Control Z. Okay, so we've we've hit a we've hit a moment of how do we combine. Stuff like this. Hold on. What? We spent a hot minute deciding that this color was different. 
ask it nicely. Maybe, maybe. What was it? Hey, ob hey, square. Will you please, please become a nice color? Or combine nicely. Okay, maybe I just deleted that. That was maybe a bad idea. Nope. We're gonna go back to there. Okay. So, now what we're gonna do. <laughs> Scale, rotate, skew, matrix. What? No. Colors. A good attempt. A good attempt. Yes. Oh. <sighs> I was so happy for a moment. Um, mm -hmm. Right, I need to change this to a normal fill first, and then change it to a gradient once I've locked down the, um, the color that I want. My question is, why is the gradient not working anymore? Because it was working great earlier. Do you normally use ink switch converters? Yeah, normally I do. Um, normally I don't do I don't do gradients. I usually do solid fills, which is why I'm having a lot of trouble with this right now. It's research. We're calling this research. We are branding it research. It's all in how you. It's all in what you call it. Um, but. We, was it, I normally use ink stitch for my embroideries. Um, was it actually? I can show you what we did last stream, which was bum ba da dum, um, which is you know just simple. But like we were able to do it in under like three hours total, I think combined, which I'm happy with. Um, what was it? Normally embroideries take a hot minute for me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, What's the name of that other soft software we sometimes use? The expensive one installed in Makerspace computers. Right. Um, oh, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, it's got like a yellow icon. Hold on. We're going to look this up. We're going to look this up because we are. Also because I need to do more research on the um, on just how to use Inkscape and Inkstitch properly. Um, and Brilliance, that's what it's called. Yes, and Brilliance. Um, I have heard Hatch, um, being used on a more professional level as well. What was it? Hatch embroidery. Digitizer. What was it? Especially for people who have, like, embroidery shops. Um, I've seen, like, on the embroidery Reddit of, like, you know, people talking about using it. Um, however, uh, was it, we talked about this earlier in the stream. <laughs> Uh, Hatch is roughly a thousand ninety nine dollars uh, for a single person to use, or for a single computer to use. Uh, which is why, um, which is why we do not use Hatch in the libraries. We have a budget. Uh, we use in Brilliance. We used in Brilliance instead. Well, okay, it's it's questionable. What was it? Um, yeah, we we uh, we used Embraerlands back when uh, we were paying subscriptions, and now we're not. But yes, free trials are great. Um, what was it? Well, I I no longer use Embraerlands just because there's a single computer that we can use Embraerlands on uh, that we have a or that we have a um, license for. Uh. Mm hmm. Stroke. Mm -hmm. The gradient handles controls connected by lines that define the direction and length of the gradient. What? I have no idea this. What this was? That's so wild. Hold on. She. Okay. Hello. That's so loud. I had no idea that this was a thing that we could do. Reflected. Create gradient in the stroke. Create linear gradient. 
ingredient in the fill. Okay. This makes more sense, I think. Right, because we don't even have a stroke, so. What was it? Let's stop that. Let's see if we can direct it. What the heck is happening here? You know what? I'm just going to make a new square and mess around there. She. Um, what was it? The color's fine. Ah, here we are. Oh, I see. Okay, this makes more sense now. Okay, cool. So, like, we can rotate it this way if we want. Okay, I get you now. I'm getting an Inkscape, I think. I need to read the tutorials more, but yes. Um, I'm getting Inkscape. I gotta go finish up my embroidery. Have a good day. Have a good day, too. Adios. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Oh, whoops. I totally forgot to um, flip over to... You guys totally did not see this. I'm so sorry. Hold on. What was it? I was not on that. I was on this. Because I realized... What was it? Um... And brilliance, yes, yes. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's look at this really quick. What was it? So, like, I was like, we can do this. We can rotate it around now, which is really cool. Can I snap this? I cannot snap this. That is the one caveat to this right now that I'm, like, not loving. What is reflected? Oh, this makes sense now. Okay, I don't know why this is doing this. Whoa, that's really cool. I'm very confused by how this is working, but it's really cool. What was it? Thanks, at Wookie Mage. It makes me sad that I forgot because Embrance is my favorite. Freshening, but very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I t <sighs> Yeah, I totally get that. It's wild. Okay, so we can only have one of these at a time, but uh, lightsaber question mark? Many, many lightsabers. Okay, this is real cool now. I get, I get you. I'm getting this. I'm actually gonna delete it. What was it? And I see. Okay, I can do this now. My question is, how do I merge these two? Where were they grouped? I have no clue. It's fine. Actually, hold on. If I know this now, I can just... up a bit, move it to the middle-ish, roughly, roughly, like so, ba-bam, right, here we go, and then we take you, There we go, here we go. But bam, and then we're going to shrink it a bit. And hopefully we can just union these. There are so many fun gradient products these the possibilities are endless. Absolutely. I absolutely I absolutely believe you on that. Well I agree with you on that. It's just so fun. 
Um, let's see, can we just object or path combine? No. I was really hoping that would work. Hmm. Path. Union? Maybe? I don't know. No. That just ended up not working. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Okay. Let's talk about gradients. Um, when any of the gradient handles is selected, the fill and stroke dialog sets. Actually, is it possible to use three colors in a single gradient? Like, make it go red, then white, then blue. I think what you would want for that, right. That was the entire, that was the whole thing that we were <laughs> doing to begin with. I completely forgot about that. Um, is if we control V, control V, like so, and then we flip it. But we make the color, I don't know, purple? And then gradient it. And then, actually, you know what we can do? Is if we look at this, and then we change the direction that it's coming from, why am I still okay? Fun. Was well, so if I change this to that corner, make this the handle object to midpoint like so, and I copy paste this instead, and then flip flip, and then I make this color purple. Oh, okay. Right, because we reset it. That's fine. Like so, we can do it like this. Really going with the popsicle theme. So epic. Yes. Uh, we're just having fun with grading at this point. <laughs> which is okay. Which is okay. Well, so today was research. Today was research. Um, what was it? And then we're going to take this. Right. Um, and we're going to delete that because we don't need that. I don't know why it keeps making one. Okay, so that is the purple. Where is the second blue one? Here we go. We're going to make you... No. Red? I guess red. Why not red? Um, and then flip. Flip. Change the corner. And then layer, like so, and then we should probably just do another one, run it out, why not, flip, flip, change the corner, change it to, was it today is explore a new exit feature, gradients, watch this confusion and ensues, yeah, 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 look, I told y'all, what was it? Embroidery, digital embroidery thrives on chaos. I, I didn't expect it here in like the, you know, the, the design portion, but you know what? It's, it has, I should have expected it to invade every single section of the process. Well, does anybody have any um, suggestions for colors for the last one? I'm not, what was it? I haven't worked with enough, I haven't worked with colors um, for digital design long enough to like know what works and what doesn't in like, uh, palette, I suppose. A color palette. What was it for the four? Or for the fourth? Uh, for the fourth corner. Because I'm thinking currently we can do like a really bright pink. Except it, that already happens. Wait, hold on. Why is it? Oh, interesting. Okay. So it doesn't go brown. Or like another blue. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do like neon pink. Maybe like a light pink. Like, yeah. Like a light pink. 
Who? Hey, excuse me. Okay. Wabam. It looks nice. It's just, I don't know why the top left or right colors are, like, looking, like, real intense for me. Hmm. Oh, well. Question is, what's gonna happen if I tell this, if I tell Ink Stitch to embroider this? Uh, visualize an X, hold on, commands. Add layer commands, what? Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What does this do? Inkseek Vector Graphics Editor is not responding. We're going to wait for the program to respond. <clears throat> because I really don't want it to die on me right now. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, I see. Okay. Hold on. We're going to delete everything but the square just to see what it'll look like if it tries to set in tools troubleshoot we're gonna see what it looks like if we try to simulate it <laughs> okay so it's rendering a stitch plan. Actually, let me see if I can show y'all on OBS really quick. So, it is currently rendering. Maybe I should have told it to start with two. That would have been probably a smarter idea. I am... Um, hmm. This is a good question. Okay. <clears throat> but way less fabulous. Yes, true, but doable is always better than... Fa well, okay. When we're looking for results... Doable is better than fabulous, if we have to choose. Um, so we're going to delete these three and see what happens if we... Because technically these aren't actually, like, overlapped. They're just really... These are technically just like there. They're right next to each other. Extensions, ink stitch, visualize export. Simulator. Ah, that's a good question. That is a good question. I have no clue. It says it's rendering a stitch plan. Okay, hold on. We're gonna... Uh, I'm gonna assume that it's not working because it just can't work right now. Or it doesn't It doesn't know how to use... how to interpret the gradients. So if we look at... where is it? Gradient fill. The XML editor. Um, right. Um... Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Dun, 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 Firefox. Right. We see that it's supposed to tell us to go with the XML editor, which is Control Shift X. No, nope. X, here we go. <clears throat> go into the SVG and tell it to.
Let's see. Mm. Hidden setting embroider. Okay, so we copy paste this. Um, let's see. What did it say? Zero point. I'm gonna go with zero point one. Just zero point two five. I'm going to switch back to OPS to show y'all. Oh, y'all are just watching. Cool. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. What happens if we try to embroider this now? Ink stitch, visualize and export, simulator. Rendering stitch plan. Da -da. Oh, I can't actually hum that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I forget. I forget. We uh, have copyright laws that I am not allowed to break. Um, whoops, that would have been bad. Um, I'm going to give it a minute um, and just see if it needs some time. Like, I'm actually just going to, like, set a timer on my phone for, like, a minute. Hey, Siri, set a timer on my phone for a minute. Okay, cool. Um, and we are going to, uh, what was it? I'm just going to talk with y'all for, for a minute. You could also try to render the stitch plane for the pop special stick to make sure it works for non-gradient designs. That's a fair point in that, you know, we're considering the idea of, like, it could just be not working because none of it's working right now. That is a fair that is a fair and valid idea. Um, hmm. Let's see. Everyone's Siri listens and sits there for a minute. <laughs> what was it? Did your Siri go off too? Like, did it respond? That is hilarious. Um, was it so? Yeah, right now is it, if you have questions about the libraries, right now is the time to ask me um, about what about about like. No, it didn't, but it would indeed be funny. What was it? Okay, so what was it? My phone t unfortunately tells me that it's been a minute. Um, what was it? And. Sadly, it is not worked by now, which is why I'm going to assume that it's just not going to work. Um, or at least the way that we tried it. So we're going to have to try another way. Let's see. Hmm. I'm very mad, though. I really thought this was going to work. Actually, here's a question. Are we in version, are we past version 1.4.0? That, that is a good question, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna do some more research because we've done a we should probably do some more. It probably wouldn't hurt us to do some more. Uh, color blending. <laughs> color blending. Faux fill blend. True blend. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so a faux fill bend blend has a regular fill layer on bottom, and each subsequent layer has variable density settings. Make sure that all the layers have the same stitch angle. This allows for blending to happen when doing more than two layers. Each blending layer uses less density than the previous layer. Make sure to follow the same start and end points for each layer. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of text. Uh, it's not a lot of text, but, like, I've never been real good at, like, reading 
mass like mass blocks of text. Um, I'm doing more than two layers. Each blending layer uses less density. Blah blah blah. Okay, so what I think it's saying is that so in digital design projects or pro products uh, or applications like Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, what you often have are things called layers in which you can separate your objects. So objects are like the actual small things that you work with. So like every square or rectangle or circle or whatever shape you have, or like your picture or something, that is an object. And lay and you can tell it tell it to say or tell it to belong in a, in a layer. So like you can set the layer. Let me make sure that everyone's seeing the actual Inkscape. Um, so that the layer, so like this, does not exactly belong to a layer right now. If we look at layers right now, let's see. How do we access layers? Here we go. Layers. Here we go. Yeah. If we don't see like, yeah, everything is, is in layer one right now, right? So, actually if we undo, So when we have a lot of things like this, we can say, I'm actually going to just delete this one because I don't find it useful right now. Um, we have a lot of things like such. Um, you can say to, I'm going to make another layer above another layer right and we can say that we want to push this one above it or push it to the move it to layer two move and then we want to make another layer called layer three what was it and we want to push this above layer two preferably there we go we want to move this one to layer three. We want to move this one oh right we need to make a new layer first. We need to make the fourth layer. Um, let's move this one to layer four. Right? And so right now Actually, I'm going to do it on the order of the layer 2, layer, th layer 3, layer 4, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to also, I'm going to make another layer just called like um, popsicle. Um, and we're going to do bum ba da da, and we're going to move this to layer popsicle. And we're not going to see this, and we're going to lock it, because I don't want to have to worry about it right now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Uh, what was it? And now what I think we can do is, I'm actually just going to make this all bigger, because why not? Um, is, if we go back. A fill blend has a regular fill layer on bottom. Okay, so we do need a regular fill layer on the bottom. So, like that, I'm just going to make it white because. I don't really want to have to worry about this. I'm actually going to make another layer called base, or and move it down below layer one. All right. I'm going to move this. I'm also going to. What? Hold on. 
Why is this on top? This is... That's so weird. I need to move this to the back. Uh, interesting. Weird. Here we go. So now we're at this point. Uh, let's move this below layer one. I'm actually just gonna not look at it for a little bit. Huh. That's so weird. Why am I able to... What happens if I get this color? Oh, right. I didn't move it to the base layer. This is why I think we need an NCC library's de debugging amount for all of our confused... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be... <laughs> that'd be useful. I'm sure I would use that a lot. Uh, was I need to move this to the base layer first. That's why I'm not actually doing anything with it. Okay, this makes more sense now. Okay, and so theoretically, yeah, here we go. So now, okay, cool. We're at this point. And this is also the... Where is the... No, I didn't want that. Where's layer one? Layer one? What's in... Where's layer one? This is the base, right? This is layer one. Why is this above this? Oh, Jesus. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Um... This isn't... Okay, so this object is in layer one. This... <laughs> yeah? I don't know why it's being so weird. Um, hold on. Yeah, it's white now. I need to move this up a layer, question mark? That's so weird. I, okay. Yay, we got this, yes. Thank you for being supportive. Um, what was it, but yeah. Okay, so now we're here. Right, and we're going to put them all back together. We're going to put the puzzle pieces back together. And hey, we got it. We got it. We got it. Um, and now we're going to group them. Like so. And then... I need to make them the density, question mark, different. All the layers have the same stitch angle. This allows for blending to happen. Oh, okay. So I cannot do this like four corner thing. They all have to be the same color. Or not same color, same, uh, the density needs to start at the same angle, uh, which is fine, you know? Why don't we just do like this, right? And then we're gonna not look at that layer. Hold on. If I don't look at one of the layers, or one of the top layers, does that mean that I can't look at all the ones below it? No. That wouldn't make sense. Hello? Oh, when I grouped it, it, it sent everything to the same layer. That's why. Hold on. Layer 3... Yeah. This is layer... Hmm. Weird. We are going to move this one to... Move to layer one. And then we're going to lock this, I think, and that'll... What? Why can I not see it anymore? Remove 
move this to the base layer. Right, because they were all grouped, including the base layer. Hello? Hello? Um, close it. So now, theoretically, if I lock these, they shouldn't be changing anymore. Um, and if I switch this to this, I switch this. Actually, you know what I should do? I should change this to this. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to keep layer 2 and change layer 1. Here we go. Actually, why don't I just... Yeah, why don't I just do that? That would make more sense. What? What am I? What? What is this? Oh, I clicked on the um, wrong one. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. We make sense sometimes. Sometimes. There we go. And then also, I should probably delete this. Path? What is that? Why doesn't it all of a sudden look rounded on the edges? Is anyone else seeing this? Mm. Oh, hello. That's where the colors are. You said hello to the program, and it is always my gut reaction to say hello back. <laughs> oh. Oops. Sorry, I did not intend to show you my belly if I did. Was it when I was stretching? Um, let's see. Hmm. Hello. I want to scroll, but I don't want to scroll. What did I do? What is happening? I am so confused all of the time. Okay, so we're going to change the direction of the gradient. Right, we have to unlock this because that was what we did earlier. No, come back. Thank you. Here we go. Right corner. Yes. Four, right, and then this needs to be this needs to be moved to layer three. Okay, I think 
I don't know what I did, but I'm moving forward. Because <laughs> I think it looks okay so far. Also, we have five minutes left um, for the stream. So if anyone has questions or things that they want to ask me, um, now is the time to ask me before, you know, we don't have time and we run out. Carpe diem. Even if it is night. Um, at least for me. I don't know. We could have we could be having some international viewers in the in the chat right now. Um, let's see. And then if we overlay like that, cool. And then we want to not do that. I want to do this. There we go. What? Delete. Thank you. Here we go. I should probably move this to layer two, I think. This is layer three. This is layer four, uh, one, I think. Yes, I think. Right. So now what it says is each blending layer uses less density than the previous layer. The base layer starts at top top and ends at bottom right. Follow that same sequence for each layer. Actually, hold on, there's a sample file. What? Wild. We're gonna try to save this, actually. Open with Inkscape. Okay, what? That's so wild. Hold on, let me um, show y'all. What was it? I went back to the, to the instructions on how to do this. Turns out they had a sample file for me to look at, which will be extremely helpful. Um, okay, we're transitioning to this. Yes, I probably should have looked at this earlier. I probably should have read through the instructions earlier. It's fine. We're fine. What the heck? I am. Um... Oh, I see. This is like stitching. That's the actual embroidery pathing. What was it? So, this is the kind of embroidery pathing that you can see from Ink Stitch. Um, for, I think, Os. Uh... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Os left. Whoops. Um, what was it? Anyways, if you were curious about what it looked like once it went through the stitching process, or the digitization process, I should say. This is what it um, should look like after it's finished. Um, if, if we actually just zoom in, you can see like the individual stitching paths. Um, let's see, so it's like that. Question is, what's going on with the layers? Layer. Exploding view. What is an exploding view? Ah, Windows don't automatically expand, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Mm, let's unfill blend. 
baseball. Are these all in field one? No, that is the base fill. Okay, this makes more sense. So you have the base fill like so. Um, and then, oh, it is eight o'clock. Whoops, I got a little lost with time. <laughs> okay, um, thank you so much for coming out to watch. Um, this has been, um, I, I'm gonna restart that. Thank you so much for coming out to watch my stream tonight. Um, my name is Andrew, um, and I'm with the NCSU Libraries Makerspace. Um, what was it? And thank you so much for coming out to watching. It means the world to me. Um, if you have more questions, follow the link that Abby um, posted in the chat. What was it? Uh, what was it? They will be able to redirect you to anywhere or answer any questions about the libraries that we are able to do so. Um, what was it? And I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Shout out to Abby for being such an awesome moderator this entire stream. Um, I will see y'all in, what was it, next, next week. Adios, y'all.